are looking at half the mandible here. When I say half, I'm talking about the lower left half of your jaw. Obviously, you can see this has been cut here. So this would be the inside. You can sort of imagine your tongue residing right here. And of course, this would be the outside or a lateral view. We have some basic anatomical structures in place. You can see the mandibular condyle, the coronoid process, the ramus, angle, and body of the jaw or the mandible. You can see the gingiva. Gingiva is uh, kind of just a fancy way of saying our gums. And of course, you can see the teeth. Now, a full set of adult teeth or permanent teeth are 32. So you can sort of think of that as four sets of eight. And what we'd be looking at here, since this is just one quarter of our entire tooth supply, so to speak, uh, this would be eight teeth right here. And I'm going to start right here in the middle and kind of work my way back to the side. So if you look in the mirror and you look at your lower teeth right in the middle here, those would be what we call the incisors. And you'll see four of them lined up. Now remember, this is just half, so you're only seeing two. That makes this the central incisor. That makes this the lateral incisor. And after those straight teeth there, you get to one that has sort of a sharp angle to it. Some people call it the canine tooth. It's the cuspid. Beyond that, we have the premolars. This is our first premolar. This is our second premolar. And then beyond that, you get to the bigger teeth way in the back. And these are what we call our molars. So first molar, second molar. And I'm going to show you in a moment where the third molar is. So again, we have central incisor, lateral incisor, the canine or the cuspid, the first premolar, second premolar, then first molar, second molar, and again, to complete that last set of eight, if I remove this part of the mandible, you can see that third molar underneath there. This is what would we consider a non-erupted tooth. So imagine the mouth or the, the jaw of a teenager where that tooth hasn't quite popped out yet. This one is sometimes called the wisdom tooth. You may have heard that term before. Uh, you'll probably remember the phrase, with age comes wisdom. So again, with age comes this wisdom tooth. It's sort of the last, usually the last of the teeth to erupt. Another thing you'll see down here, which is kind of neat on these models, is if you enter on the medial side here, this mandibular foramen, you'll notice there's a blue, a red, and a yellow line coming in here. Blue and red, of course, represent blood supply. Yellow represents nerve supply. So the blood and the nerve supply that come through here is the same blood and nerve supply that goes and feeds each of these teeth through the roots. So you can see them coming here, coming here, feeding, 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 feeding. You can even, I know I removed it already, but you can even see that mental foramen where the blood and nerve supply come out and, and feed the outside of the jaw there, the mandible. Uh, you can see, again, the tooth. You can see the root of each of these teeth. If I pop one of these off, and you look on the inside here, you can see layers. So you can see the enamel on the outside, you can see the dentin, and you can see the pulp. Here's another tooth that comes off. If I take this one apart, again, you'll see that same thing. You'll see the layers of the teeth, enamel on the outside, then the dentin, and then the pulp cavity in here. 
If you look very closely, you can even see the blood and the nerve supply that run through here.